the Staten Island Zoo back in the 60s actually had held the record for the largest rattlesnake collection in the world. Um, and we are sort of striving toward that. That's not our goal. Our goal is not to say, hey, we have the most or we have the biggest or anything like that. But what we really want to do is bring the, the Carl Caulfield name, the era, back and really pay homage. Um, we redid his office with a lot of his actual things that he used. He retired in 71, uh, died in 72, I believe. Um, so he wasn't around too much after he retired, but he was here for a very, very long time. And he was, um, kind of pardon the expression, he was sort of the first Steve Irwin. He literally built this. Um, this is what they had to work with uh, way back when. Here is what we use today. You can see it has not really changed a whole lot. It's kind of like a golf club with a hook at the end. And this is how we manipulate, how we move, how we handle, if you will, um, any of the snakes that, uh, the venomous snakes that we have to uh, get out. They really just don't do as much hooding up. They kind of know what's going on. Come on, girl. We'll get you back in here. Ooh. Say bye. Every three months, you know, the new batch comes out and we're constantly getting new things and constantly having new things come out. So we've got a lot of animals in the back right now that are not on exhibit, just as uh, you know, extras that they will be eventually going into the desert exhibit. Um, they'll eventually be filling up some of these holes when we move some of these into the desert exhibit for Rattlesnake Ridge. And we always want to have a few backups and we want to do some breeding and things, things like that. Come on, come out here, Blecky. We've actually, these were bred here on uh, on zoo grounds back in the 90s so we've had these guys here for quite a while this particular snake happens to have a little bit of both and more neurotoxin than any of the other rattlesnakes it's also a very jumpy snake too so let me just pull this out of the way and this is actually one of the most common rattlesnakes in the country they have one of the largest ranges Come here, buddy. so yeah that is our goal to, you know, we would love nothing more than to be able to say that, uh, yeah, we literally have now every species and subspecies that's out there. And again, like I said, that's not really, you know, in competition with any other zoo. Really what that is is just to kind of celebrate the Caulfield name and, uh, you know, pay homage and appreciation to what he's done for this zoo.